Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's Tableau video, I wanna cover some of the fundamentals of number formatting in Tableau Desktop with all of you. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into it. So first up, I wanna talk about updating the formatting of a number in the data pane, okay? So when I say data pane, I'm talking about this bad boy, this column here on the left side of a worksheet. So right now this worksheet has got sales being displayed by subcategory. So let's say that I wanna update this formatting. So instead of saying, you know, 330,007, it just says 330K with a dollar sign at the beginning. I can do that. And there's two main places I could go to do that. I could do that in the data pane or I could do that in the pill. So first way that we're gonna look at this is through the data pane, all right? So I go to sales and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the drop down. I'm gonna to go to default properties. I'm gonna to go to number format. And in this case, I am looking for a custom currency, no decimals and thousands of units. Okay, so notice that it updated those labels. It's no longer going down to the individual dollar value. And one of the effects of changing the number format in the pane, like we just did, is that that has now changed that default number format throughout your workbook. And anytime that you use this field going forward, it's gonna remember that number format and use that again. So I'm into a, a new worksheet here, and let's say I'm uh, you know, recreating the same thing basically. So I throw sales on my row shelf again, and notice this time it remembered that number format because I changed the default number format here in my default properties. Okay, so that's a bit different than changing the number format in the pill, right? So let's say I'm looking at profit, and this worksheet, and I say, you know, actually what I wanna do is to see this a little bit differently. I want this to say 55.6K, all right? But I only want that in this worksheet. I don't want that to apply everywhere. So what I can do is I'm actually gonna to go to the profit pill. Um, I suppose it doesn't really matter if it's the one on color or the one on columns, but let's go ahead and just go with the one on columns. So I go here to the profit pill, hit the drop down, and say format, okay? And I wanna change the number format, but be careful. When you hit a pill and change the number format, Tableau is actually gonna give you two different options. You can change the number format in the axis or the number format in the pane, okay? So in this case, the pane, that's like the worksheet, the individual data points, things like that. So I'm not right now trying to change the axis. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go to pane. And then my default, it's probably the easiest place to change it. I'll do currency custom. I'm gonna do one decimal and I'm gonna do thousands of units, okay? So I can see, for instance, our most profitable subcategory is copiers at 55.6K. Now I change that in the pane, or in the, in the pill rather, okay? And so a couple things. First of all, notice that the formatting on our axis and the formatting in our cells or our data points or our bars, those aren't necessarily lined up right now. They're not perfectly aligned. Uh, and then second, if I go and I do another worksheet where I'm looking at profit per subcategory, it's not gonna remember the formatting that I just did, right? So here I added the thousands of units and the decimal. Here it's just back to whatever the default is. So, so the changing the number format in the pill is a great way to do more of a one-time change, maybe just for that worksheet. Okay. Uh, so let's take a moment to talk about axis versus pane formatting. Well, how do you do one versus the other? So uh, I should probably start with a, a fresh field for this, huh? Um, let's use profit again. So I'm going to throw profit on here. And there will certainly be times where you want one formatting for these labels and another for these labels. So a great way to do that is, again, just through this drop down here, some of profit on columns. I'm going to go to format. And then let's say for the axis, I just want it to be thousands units, but with a dollar sign. So I say currency custom, no decimals, thousands units. And then for the pane, maybe I just want it broken all the way down to the dollar level like that. So I just say currency custom like this. So that's a great way to be able to customize the axis and the pane or, or the cells as well. Uh, so one of the big concepts I want to look at right now is what if you need two different number formats in the same worksheet, okay? So a good example of that would be something like uh, percentages. So I might just want a percentage on the label, but I might want the percentage with decimal points um, 
on the tool tip, okay? So this average discount that's on my column shelf right now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the number format and we'll do percentage and I'm gonna say no decimals, okay? But let's say that for whatever reason, that's important to me that when I hover over, I can see not only is it 37%, but is that 36.8% or 37.3%? So unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be able to get away with changing the format of this field, um, you know, <laughs> like putting it on here and then changing the format because you can only really set the format for each field once per worksheet. So there's a couple different ways of creating a duplicate. I'm just gonna do, um, I'm just gonna duplicate the field in the data pane. And so I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say duplicate. That's gonna create a calculation that's just got the field discount in there. So I'll call this um, discount detailed so I can distinguish it. And then this one I'll put on tooltip. And now this is a different field, right? So discount detailed, I can format this pill differently and I could say, hey, actually for this percentage, I do want to see a decimal place or maybe even two decimal places, right? So now uh, I'll probably want to do a little bit of tooltip cleanup, but you can see binders. Yeah, it's going to tell you 37% at the end of the bar, but in actuality, it's 37.23%. So if I want to get real crazy with this, I could just, you know, get rid of the high level discount and then just keep the detailed discount on the label and the tooltip so you can get that extra detail uh, as you hover over. So those are some of the foundations of number formatting in Tableau. Yeah, you can go crazy. There's custom number formats. So if you right clicked on a field and went to number formatting here, there's actually a whole custom section. And, and there's actually some really cool stuff that you can do with that. Um, gosh, you can take something like a zero and have it format as a dash or a blank or whatever. So I'll include a link in the description below to a blog post that I've done um, and gonna do a little bit of detail on custom number formatting. Uh, but for the sake of kind of this video, we're gonna keep it at a little bit higher level and, and just keep it at the uh, foundational skills that you might wanna know for number formatting. So cool, thank you so much for being here. I hope this video was helpful and informative to you and explain some of the differences and why you might be changing the number format, not seeing the change that you think you're seeing. Um, so yeah, again, hope this was helpful and we look forward to catching you on another video here next week on the One Number YouTube channel. Thanks.